Finally, the very rare trajectory. This is 3i Atlas. This is Mars. 3i Atlas is about to swing by, and a fleet of camera ready rovers and orbiters are standing by to snap some pictures. NASA thought they were just watching another comet. They were dead wrong. The interstellar object 3i Atlas has just passed Mars, and the results are, to put it mildly, world changing. This wasn't just ice and dust. It was an active event that has scientists questioning everything they know about space. This time it doesn't look like a comet. It's a perfect glowing cylinder drifting across the Martian sky. There's no dust plume, no fragmentation, just structure. We're talking about impossible auroras on a dead planet, fragments breaking off in perfect spirals, and a mysterious energy pulse. Forget everything you thought you knew about visitors from other stars. What happened at Mars suggests they may already be here, and they're not quiet. A comet unlike any other. You see, as 3i Atlas made its closest approach, the show began. The first sign that something was wrong came from the comet's brightness. It suddenly flared, increasing in luminosity by nearly 500% in just under an hour. This wasn't a normal outgassing event. This was a colossal sustained burst of energy. The comet's coma, the fuzzy green halo around its nucleus, swelled to an enormous size, glowing with an intensity that baffled scientists. The green glow, usually caused by diatomic carbon molecules breaking down in sunlight, was so brilliant it would have been visible to the naked eye from the surface of Mars. Then came the fragments. High-resolution images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured something that seemed to defy physics. Chunks of ice and rock began to calve off the main body, which is normal for a comet under thermal stress. But not like this. Instead of drifting away randomly, the fragments were shed in a distinct, almost perfect spiral pattern, like water going down a drain. It was as if the comet were spinning at an incredible rate and flinging material off in a controlled, organized manner. No natural comet has ever been observed doing this. The most shocking fact is that these fragments didn't just tumble away. They seemed to maintain their relative positions as they moved, a behavior that some mission specialists privately called coordinated. But the comet wasn't the only thing acting strangely. The planet Mars itself reacted to the flyby. Instruments on the MAVEN orbiter, which studies the Martian atmosphere, detected a sudden and massive auroral display. Now, auroras on Mars are incredibly rare. The planet lacks a global magnetic field like Earth's, so it doesn't normally get the beautiful light shows we do. It has small, patchy areas of localized magnetic fields in its crust, and very faint auroras have been seen there before. But this was different. This was a planet-wide ultraviolet glow, a shimmering curtain of light that danced across the entire night side of Mars. The energy required to generate such a display was immense, far more than any solar wind event could account for. The source was unmistakably 3i Atlas. It was as if the comet's passing literally supercharged the thin Martian atmosphere. The energy it released was equivalent to thousands of lightning strikes happening all at once. It left the planet ringing like a bell. If that wasn't enough, the trace gas orbiter found something that has been the holy grail of Martian science for decades. A massive, unambiguous spike in methane. You see, methane on Mars is a huge mystery. It appears in small, transient puffs that could hint at geological activity or even microbial life, but it's hard to pin down. This, however, was no small puff. A huge plume of methane was released into the atmosphere, perfectly timed with the comet's closest approach. It was as if the comet's passing either deposited the methane or, more bizarrely, triggered its release from a subsurface reservoir. The timing was too perfect to be a coincidence. Many people are crazy about the idea of life on Mars, and this event just poured gasoline on that fire. The comet flared. It shed fragments in a bizarre spiral. It lit up the Martian sky and may have triggered a gas release from below the surface. NASA was left with a spectacle that broke all their predictive models. The quiet visitor had turned into a cosmic vandal, but the real shock was still buried in the data streams. The signal in the static. In the chaos of analyzing the visual data, the flare, the spirals, the auroras, an engineer at the Deep Space Network noticed an anomaly. It was buried deep within the radio signals being relayed from the Mars Express orbiter. 
At first, it looked like simple instrument noise, a repetitive bit of static that was easy to dismiss. But it was persistent, a faint but distinct pulse, repeating every 22 seconds. On its own, it was just a curiosity. But then, the team checked the data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was on the opposite side of the planet. And there it was again. The exact same pulse, with the exact same 22-second interval. Two different spacecraft, separated by thousands of miles, had recorded the same rhythmic signal, perfectly synchronized with the comet's flyby. This changed everything. The thing nobody tells you about space signals is that repetition is a huge red flag for something artificial. Nature is noisy and chaotic. It rarely produces metronome-like beats. The famous WOW signal from 1977 was a one-time event, a powerful burst that never repeated. This was different. This was a sustained pulse that lasted for nearly an hour and a half before fading as the comet moved away. Scientists scrambled for a natural explanation. The official theory, the one you'll see in the press releases, is that it was likely a plasma interaction. The idea is that the highly ionized gas in the comet's tail interacted with the patchy magnetic fields in Mars's crust, creating a natural resonance like plucking a giant invisible guitar string. And you can see this everywhere in space physics. Plasmas can do some very strange things, but even the proponents of this theory admit it's a stretch. The signal was remarkably clean, almost too perfect. It didn't have the messy fluctuations you'd expect from a chaotic plasma interaction. The most interesting part, in the initial reports, was the signal's structure. It wasn't just a simple beep. Each pulse had a complex waveform, a specific shape that was identical every single time. To put it mildly, it looked engineered. When you filter out the background noise, the pulse has a clear rise and fall, a signature. Radio astronomers have spent their careers looking for signals like this with projects like SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. They point giant radio dishes at distant stars, hoping to catch a faint, artificial whisper. And here was a signal, right in our own backyard, coming from an object that originated in another star system. This discovery has divided the scientific community. The older, more conservative scientists are urging caution, emphasizing that we must exhaust every possible natural explanation before jumping to conclusions. But a younger generation of researchers is arguing that we need to consider the obvious. An interstellar object shows up, behaves in physically anomalous ways, and emits a structured, repeating signal as it passes a planet. At what point does clinging to a natural explanation become less scientific than considering an artificial one? This isn't just a random comet anymore. The data suggests it could be a probe, a very, very old one, traveling between the stars for millions of years. And if it is a probe, its strange behavior at Mars wasn't an accident. The flare, the fragments, the auroras, the methane release, it might have all been deliberate. A way to test the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and geology. A planetary health checkup. The signal wouldn't be a byproduct. It would be the sound of the probe systems operating. The 22-second pulse could be anything, a data transmission, a system diagnostic, or just the rhythmic hum of an ancient engine. The implications are staggering. For decades, we've been broadcasting our own signals into the void, hoping someone is listening. It seems someone, or something, just returned the favor. Now, the object that sent the signal is heading deeper into our system. What Atlas does next? After its dramatic encounter with Mars, 3i Atlas didn't just go back to being a normal comet. In fact, it got even weirder. Astronomers on Earth, both professional and amateur, noticed that its signature green coma didn't just stay bright, it grew. The comet is now heading toward perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun. Normally, as a comet gets closer to the Sun, it heats up and releases more gas and dust, so it naturally gets brighter. But this is different. The rate of brightening is off the charts. It's as if the encounter with Mars activated something inside the comet. One theory is that the intense energy exchange that created the Martian auroras also heated the comet's nucleus in a new way, opening up fresh vents for volatile ices to escape. You see, a comet's surface is covered in a dark, insulating crust, 
A sudden jolt could crack that crust, exposing highly reactive materials that have been frozen for billions of years. When these materials hit sunlight for the first time, the reaction could be explosive, which might explain the hyperbrightening we're seeing. It's burning through its fuel at an alarming rate. Another more speculative idea connects back to those spiraling fragments. What if 3i Atlas has an internal structure, perhaps even a powerful magnetic field of its own, something a comet should not have? An internal magnetic field could have interacted with Mars's weak magnetosphere, causing the auroras and the energy feedback loop that is now making it glow so intensely. The most shocking fact is that a spinning magnetic object would shed charged dust particles in exactly the kind of spiral pattern that was observed. It fits the evidence, even if the idea of a magnetic comet sounds like science fiction. And you can see this everywhere in the data. The story is consistent. This is not a passive object being acted upon by the sun. It is an active object, changing its behavior in response to its environment. As it races toward the sun, it's not just shedding dust, it's leaving a trail of questions. The James Webb Space Telescope is now trying to get a clear spectrum of the light coming from the comet's coma. Scientists are desperate to analyze the chemical composition of the material it's shedding. Is it made of the same stuff as our own solar system's comets? Or does it contain exotic isotopes and molecules that could only have formed in a completely different kind of star system? The answer to that question could tell us if this object is just a freak of nature or something else entirely. The whole world is watching. The comet is now on a path that will take it across Earth's orbital plane in a few months. As it gets closer to the Sun, the pressure on it will be immense. The Sun's gravity will pull at it, and the solar wind will blast it. There are two possibilities. It could hold together, surviving its fiery pass by the Sun and heading back out into interstellar space a brighter, more active object than when it arrived. Or it could disintegrate completely. The thermal and gravitational stress could tear it apart, creating a spectacular cloud of alien dust and debris right in the middle of our solar system. Either outcome is both thrilling and terrifying. If it survives, we have an active anomalous object cruising through our neighborhood. If it breaks up, its contents, the very material it's made of, will be scattered across the inner solar system. Some of that material will eventually fall to Earth, giving us a direct sample of this interstellar mystery. But what if the breakup isn't an ending, but the whole point? So here we are. We have an interstellar object that glowed impossibly bright, shed fragments in a perfect spiral, triggered auroras and a methane plume on Mars, and broadcast a rhythmic pulse for over an hour. It is now burning hotter and brighter as it approaches our sun. People watching this are looking for a mystery, and 3i Atlas has delivered the biggest one in modern history. The time for dismissing this as just a weird comet is over. The core of this story is that we are now forced to confront possibilities that were once confined to fiction. Let's talk down to Earth for a moment. Are we really saying a giant alien machine just flew past Mars? The thing is, when you look at the evidence, the probe hypothesis is disturbingly plausible. Think about it. If you wanted to send a probe to another star system to gather data, what would be the perfect disguise? A comet. It's the ultimate Trojan horse. It's naturally protected from radiation and impacts by a thick crust of ice and rock. It can carry volatile materials for fuel. The story of 3i Atlas is still unfolding. What do you think it is? a natural wonder or an ancient probe? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. Thanks for watching.